first contender tonight is Carl Negendra. He's a GP from West Sussex and his specialist subject, the films of James Cameron. Next, Tracy Whitehead, a student from Buckinghamshire. She's answering questions on the artist Georgia O'Keeffe. David Cheshire is a teacher from East Sussex. His specialist subject, the rock band Guns N' Roses. And Terry Quay, a retired solicitor from Northumberland. His subject, King Henry IV. Welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Four contenders tonight, all in pursuit of the most prestigious prize in quizzing. They've already proved their worth because they've been chosen out of the thousands of applications to be here tonight. But now it gets really tough. Two minutes of questions on their specialist subject, two and a half minutes on general knowledge alone in the spotlight with precious little time to think. So let us have our first contender, please. And your name is? Carl Nagendra. Your occupation? GP. And your chosen subject? The films of James Cameron. In two minutes, starting now, which film, written, directed and co-produced by Cameron, won 11 Academy Awards in March 1998? Titanic. Yes. Whose roles in Cameron's films include Brock Lovett in Titanic, Simon in True Lies and Private Hudson in Aliens? Bill Paxton. Yep. Which small fish that spawn on Elysium's beaches are traditionally caught and eaten by hotel guests during the annual Fish Fry Beach Festival in Piranha 2, the spawning? Grunye. Yes, grunions. In Avatar, what does the ambitious RDA manager, Parker Selfridge, say is the scientific name of the highly valuable little grey rock that is on display in his office? Unobtainium. Yes. In The Terminator, to which nightclub on Pico Boulevard does Sarah Connor go to call police after she realises that she is the next victim on the so-called phone book killers list? Technoir. Yeah. What is the name of the flying creatures on Pandora that the Navi people use for hunting? They're called banshees by the Marines. Ekran. Yes, Ikran. What is the name of the space station in Aliens where Ripley and her cat Jonesy are woken up after 57 years in hypersleep? Gateway. Yes. In which film does a nuclear submarine, the USS Montana, sink with 156 crew members on board, prompting a combined civilian and military recovery mission? The Abyss. Yep. In Sarah Connor's opening narrative in Terminator 2, Judgment Day, how many lives does she say ended in a nuclear fire on the 29th of August 1997? Three million. Yeah. Which veteran actor plays Spencer Trilby, Harry Tasker's boss at the Omega Sector Intelligence Agency in True Lies? Charlton Heston. Yes. Which composer worked on several of Cameron's films, including Titanic, for which he won two Oscars? James Horner. Yep. What is the name of the psychiatric hospital that Sarah Connor escapes from in Terminator 2, Judgment Day? Pescadero. Yep. In Aliens of the Deep, which icy moon is referred to as the gem of the Jovian system in relation to the search for new life forms? Europa. Correct. The tourist Robert Hayward is attacked and killed by piranha-like fish while he's on a dive led by Anne Kimbrough to explore the wreck of which Navy supply ship? The Dwight Fitzgerald. The Dwight Fitzgerald is correct. No passes, Kyle. You have scored 14 points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is... Tracy Whitehead. Your occupation? Student. And your chosen subject? Georgia O'Keeffe. Georgia O'Keeffe in two minutes. The American artist Georgia O'Keeffe was born in Wisconsin in 1887. What middle name was she given? It was the family name of her Hungarian grandfather. Toto. Yep. What objects the dominant feature of O'Keeffe's 1931 painting with the subtitle Red, White and Blue that is said to symbolise, in part, the American spirit? Cow skull. Yep. Who introduced O'Keeffe to the photographer and art patron Alfred Stieglitz? She sent him a series of O'Keeffe's charcoal abstractions that subsequently went on show at his 291 gallery in New York. Anita Pollitzer. Yes. In which city did O'Keeffe oversee her first full-scale retrospective in January 43? New York. Chicago. What mountain near her studio at Ghost Ranch became such a regular feature of her work that she said, it belongs to me, God told me if I painted it enough, I could have it? Cerro Pedernal. Yes. By which lake in upstage New York was the Stieglitz family estate? O'Keefe spent many summers there painting in a wooden building she nicknamed the Shanty. 
Lake George. Yes. What breed of dog did O'Keefe begin to keep as a pet from the 1950s when a neighbour gave her two puppies, which she named Bo and Chia? Pass. What name did O'Keefe give to the remote Stark area of Grey Hills in Navajo country, 150 miles west of Ghost Ranch, that she said looked like a mile of elephants? The Black Place. Yes. And which college in South Carolina did O'Keefe take up a teaching post in 1915? Chatham College. Columbia. What name is generally given to her series of pictures of the mid-1940s which feature specific bones with large holes through which she gives a view of the sky or the landscape? Pass. Who was the Texas-born potter who became O'Keefe's assistant from 1973? Juan Hernandez. No, Juan Hamilton. John Hamilton. Which of O'Keefe's sisters, who was born in 1889, had ambitions to become a full-time artist? Catherine. Ida. What disease did O'Keefe contract in 1906 after she completed her first year of art training? It caused her to withdraw from the course. Measles. Typhoid. What is the title of her largest work on canvas, painted in 1965 at the age of 77? Sky Above the Clouds. Sky Above Clouds 4. Um, you had two passes. The name generally given to the series of pictures of the mid-40s with the bones and all that, that was the Pelvis series. Yeah. Um, and... That breed of dog that she rather liked were um, the blue Chow Chow. Yes. You scored, Tracy, seven points. Thank you. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? David Cheshire. Your occupation? Teacher. Chosen subject? Guns and Roses. Guns and Roses. Here we go. What is the title of Guns and Roses' first UK top ten single? It reached number six in April 1989. Welcome to the Jungle. Paradise City. Axel Rose was known by his stepfather's surname when he was growing up in Indiana. What was it? Bailey. Yes. At which venue on the 31st of August 1991 did Izzy Stradlin play his last gig on the Use Your Illusion tour before he officially announced to fans that he was leaving the band? Wembley Stadium. Yes. Which of the band's music videos filmed in a California ballroom won the Best Heavy Metal Video category at the 1989 MTV Awards? Sweet Child of Mine. Yep. Whose painting, entitled Appetite for Destruction, was used as the artwork on the original cover of the band's debut album? Robert Williams. Yes. Which famous musician's daughter, Erin, was briefly married to Axl Rose? Don Everly. Yep. What is the name of the convicted murderer who wrote the song Look at Your Game Girl, a version of it features as a hidden track on the spaghetti incident? Charles Manson. Yes. What song was the band playing at the Riverport Amphitheatre in July 91 when Axl Rose leapt from the stage to confront an audience member but with a the camera, there was subsequently a riot. It's so easy. Rocket Queen. Which drummer was fired in 1990, reportedly because of drug problems, and described his Cincinnati stage reunion with the band in 2016 as a beautiful present? Steve Adler. Yep. What is the name of the Hollywood venue where an early incarnation of the band performed under the name Guns N' Roses on the 26th of March, 1985? Troubadour? Yes. Which British musician played piano with the band when they performed November Rain at the MTV Video Music Awards in September 92? Elton John. Yes. What is the name of the record producer who was ultimately chosen to work on Appetite for Destruction and produced a further four studio albums with the band? Mike Klink. Yep. Which actor does Slash say gave him his nickname because, as a youth, he was always working on his next scheme? Clint Eastwood. Seymour Cassell. In December 1989, Axl Rose and Izzy Stradlin joined the Rolling Stones on stage in Atlantic City, primarily to perform what song with them? Salt of the Earth. Salt of the Earth it was indeed. No passes, David. You have 11 points. <laughs> and our final contender, please. And your name is? Terry Quay. Your occupation? Retired solicitor. And your chosen subject? King Henry IV. In two minutes, starting now. Henry IV reigned from 1399 to 1413. What was said to be his favourite residence? It was where he spent Christmas most often during his reign. Elton Palace. Yep. Henry commanded a force that defeated Robert de Vere and his men in Oxfordshire in December 1387 at which bridge over the Thames? Radcock. Yes, on the day Richard II gave up the crown, Henry made a speech in Westminster Hall claiming his right of succession through which English king? Henry III. Yes. 
What was the name of the nobleman whom Henry had accused of murdering the Duke of Gloucester? Richard stopped their trial by combat at Coventry in September 1398. Uh, Mowbray. Yes, Thomas Mowbray. Who is said to have saved Henry's life during the Peasants' Revolt of 1381? John Ferrer. Yep. What name, derived from a term meaning accused, is given to the group of nobles that Henry joined in 1387? They aimed to curb the rule of Richard II by accusing his favourites of treason. The Lord's Appellant. Yes. Henry joined the Knights of the Teutonic Order in the summer of 1390 in their crusade to convert which country to Christianity? Lithuania. Yes. Which Archbishop of York was beheaded for treason for his part in the 1405 Yorkshire Rising? Scroop. Yes, Richard Scroop. The siege of a castle in Northumberland in July 1405 was short and ended, in Henry's own account, by the firing of seven shots from one of his cannons. Which castle? Walkworth. Yeah. Who was proclaimed Prince of an Independent Wales by his own people in September 1400 and was at the centre of a Welsh uprising against Henry? Owen Glendower. Yes. What dukedom was Henry given in September 1397 after the trial in Parliament that saw the downfall of the Duke of Gloucester and the Earls of Arundel and Warwick? Hereford. Yep. At what place near Calais did Henry take part in a jousting tournament in 1390 after a formal challenge was issued by three French knights? Anglevere. Yeah, Saint Anglevere. What was the name of the priest who was found guilty of heresy and was burned at the stake on Henry's order in London, March 1401? William Sawtree. Correct. Which clergyman wrote a letter to Henry in 1401 that reproached him for not upholding the law? Henry later made him his confessor and then Bishop of Lincoln. Philip, Ra Philip Raffingdon. Is correct. You got them all right. Terry, you have a perfect score of 14 points. Thank you. Some high scores there. Let's have a look at all the first round scores. In fourth place with seven points, Tracy Whitehead. Third place, 11 points, David Cheshire. Joint first place, 14 points apiece, Carnagendra and Terry Kwai. It is the general knowledge round now, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account, and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they are tied on passes as well, there has to be a tie break. So let us ask Tracy to join us again, please. And you start out with seven, Tracy, but we've got two and a half minutes of general knowledge. So time to catch up and overtake. Here we go. Common or harbour and grey are the two species of which aquatic mammal native to Britain? Seal. Yep. Which Victorian Prime Minister replied to his own rhetorical question, is man an ape or an angel, saying he was on the side of the angels? Disraeli. Yes. The Palazzo Vecchio, built in the 14th century, still serves as the administrative centre of which Italian city? Florence. Yep. What hand signal is the subject of David Shrigley's really good sculpture that became the 11th object to be put on the 4th plinth in Trafalgar Square in September 2016? Thumbs up. Yep. Who reached number two in the UK charts in 1984 with the album Private Dancer? Elton John. Tina Turner. On which of the Channel Islands did the children's author Elizabeth Beresford live for the latter part of her life? She gave its name to one of her Womble creations. Alterning. Yes. The name of which sacred scripture comes from the Arabic for recitation? Quran. Yep. Micromis minotus is the scientific name of a tiny mouse that lives in areas of tall vegetation such as hay or cornfields. What's its common name? Dormouse? The Harvest Mouse. Whose television roles include Sergeant Guy Perron in The Jewel in the Crown and the ruthless patriarch Tywin Lannister in Game of Thrones? Charles Dance. Yeah. What name is given to the collection of the stories that Sherazada told her husband, the Sultan, each night? She left each tale unfinished so he wouldn't have her executed. Arabian Nights or Thousand and One yeah, Nights. Exactly. The tidal islands of Hilbury, Middle Eye and Little Eye lie off the Wirral Peninsula in the estuary of which river? Um, Mersey. The D. Whose last opera, William Tell, was premiered in Paris in August 1829, nearly 40 years before his death? Rossini. Yes. In 1992, what word did the American Vice President Dan Quayle tell a 12-year-old boy he had misspelled during a spelling bee, claiming the child had left the letter E off the end? 
Potato. Yes. Which British monarch was the subject of seven murder attempts between 1840 and 1882? Uh, Victoria. Yes. In 1815, who invented the miner's safety lamp that was then named after him? Humphrey Davy. Yeah. What is the name of the baked turnover of pizza dough stuffed with various fillings? It gets its name from the Italian for trouser leg. Calzone. Yeah. In anatomy, what name is given to the joint between the femur and the pelvis? Hip. Yep. Which Billy Wilder film starring Marilyn Monroe, Jack Lemmon and Tony Curtis was voted the funniest American film of the 20th century by the American Film Institute? Some like it hot. Yep. In mountaineering, what term is used for the technique whereby a stationary climber is secured to the mountain by a rope to safeguard a moving climber in the event of a fall? Belaying? Yes. What name historically used to denote the nation as a whole is now used for an association of over 50 states, most of whom were previously part of the British Empire? Commonwealth. Commonwealth is correct. Well, you really did recover in that <laughs> round, didn't you? You've now got a total, Tracy, of 24 points. Thank you. <laughs> and now, David, again, please. And uh, you start out with 11 points, David. 24 is, so far at any rate, the score to beat. Here we go. In which New York square did crowds traditionally gather on New Year's Eve? Time. Yes. The world's largest rodent, the capybara, resembles an enlarged form of which household pet? Guinea pig. Yep. When Adele won five Grammy Awards in 2017, who did she say should have won the Best Album Award instead of her? Beyonce. Yes. Which day in the church calendar gets its name from the practice of confession of sins and the receiving of absolution? Pass. Mary Ann MacLeod, who was born on the Scottish island of Lewis in May 1912 and later emigrated to America, is the mother of which politician? Donald Trump. Yep. The Madonna Litter, now in the Hermitage, was painted in the 1490s and is attributed to a great Italian artist and sculptor of the Renaissance. Who? Da Vinci. Yes. Robert Mugabe was the first Prime Minister of which African country from 1980 to 87 when he declared himself Executive President? Kenya. Zimbabwe. Eight ball is the most popular variation of which common pub game? Pool. Yep. In children's literature, which character is noted for the hard stare he reserves for anyone who annoys him? Paddington. Yes. What piece of music, originally a setting of words by Schiller, that formed part of the final movement of Beethoven's Chorale Symphony, was adopted as the anthem of the European Union in 1972? Ode to Joy. Yep. Which summit on the main west coast line and the M6 motorway lies just north of the village of Tibet? Pass. Which precious metal is hallmarked with an orb within a pentagonal shield? Gold. Platinum. In which 2016 animated comedy do a rookie rabbit, police officer, and a cynical con artist fox work together to uncover a conspiracy in a city populated by animals? Animalopolis. Zootopia. What is the name of the Greek mathematician active in Egypt from about 300 BC who is sometimes called the father of geometry? Pythagoras. Euclid. Which cycle of 63 nostalgic poems by A. E. Hausman was first published in 1896 at the author's own expense? <sighs> Pass. What is the title of the television comedy series featuring the feisty pensioners Jack Jarvis and Victor McDade, which returned in 2016 after almost a decade? Pass. The American astronomer Clyde Tombaugh said of his discovery of February 1930 that in one split second I realised I'd be world famous. What was his discovery? Pluto? Yes. What Latin word meaning a spark is used for a tiny amount of something in English? <whistles> Take a guess. <laughs> no. Go on blank. Can't think. Yeah, all right, I'll give it to you. It was, or rather is, scintilla. <sighs> Yes. Anyway, and uh, your other passes, you had five altogether. Still Game was the title of that comedy series. The um, poems by A. E. Hausman, they were a Shropshire lad. Shap is the summit on the West Coast uh, railway line. The day in the church calendar that gets its name from the practice of confession of sins, etc., is Shrove Tuesday. You have, David, 20 points. And now, Kyle, again, please. And you, of course, Kyle, start out with 14 points. Score to beat is still 24. Here we go. Which dukedom was given to Prince William when he married in April 2011? Cambridge. Yep. The US Congress is made up of the Senate and what other chamber? 
Congress. House of Representatives. Who wrote the science fiction novel A Clockwork Orange, described as a nightmare vision of the future where criminals take over after dark, first published in 1962? Burgess. Yes. In which European language does bon dia mean good day or hello? Portuguese. Yes. Kauai, Maui and Oahu are three of the eight principal islands of which Pacific island group? Hawaii. Yes. The studio of a post-impressionist painter at Aison Provence, where he was born in 1839, has been turned into a museum to his life and work. Who? Monet. Cezanne. Whose version of the locomotion entered the charts at number two in August 1988? Kylie Minogue. Yep. Which New World monkeys get their name from their long, slender arms and legs that make them resemble another creature when their limbs are spread out? Pass. What name that comes from the Greek words for out and oath is given to the act of driving away an evil spirit by the invocation of some holy name? Exorcism. Yes. Which composer's 1908 song symphony, Das Lied von der Erde, or the Song of the Earth, is based on 8th century Chinese poems? Wagner. Mahler. What is the name of the captain of the USS Enterprise, played by William Shatner, in the television series Star Trek? James T. Kirk. Yes. Who succeeded Asquith as Britain's Prime Minister in December 1916 and remained in office until 1922? David Lloyd George. Yep. In 2004, the Manchester United goalkeeper Tim Howard became the first footballer from which country to win an FA Cup winner's medal? USA. Yep. What edible fungus gets its common name because of its dark red mottled appearance, rather like raw meat? Pass. Which novelist was born in Steventon in Hampshire in December 1775, the daughter of a country rector? Jane Austen. Yes. Which inert gas discovered by Sir William Ramsay and Maurice Travers in 1898 emits a bright red glow when an electric current is passed through it at low pressure? Neon. Yes. What is the name of the inlet of the Irish Sea that indents the west coast of Wales and extends from the Llyn Peninsula in the north to Pembrokeshire in the south? Pass. Who succeeded Sue Lawley as the presenter of Radio 4's Desert Island Discs in October 2006? Pass. Which present-day English county was originally the Kingdom of the East Saxons, thought to have been founded, in 527? Essex. He is correct. You had uh, four passes. Kirsty Young succeeded Sue Lawley. Cardigan Bay is the uh, inlet of the Irish Sea. That um, edible fungus, dark red thing, it's uh, a beefsteak fungus, or ox tongue, it's called sometimes. And um, those strange New World monkeys are spider monkeys. However, you have... 26 points now. <laughs> and finally, Terry again, please. And uh, Terry, you also start out with 14 points, but the score has now, the score to beat, has now gone up to 26. So let's see if you can do that in two and a half minutes. Here we go. By what name is the snack that the Americans call potato chips, usually referred to in Britain? Uh, crisps. Yeah. Christy Brown's 1954 autobiography is named after the only limb of his body that he was able to control after he was born with cerebral palsy. What is its title? My Left Foot. Yes, the Mexican resort of Cancun and the ruins of the Mayan civilization at Chichen Itza and Tikal all lie on which peninsula? Yucatan. Yep. The 1976 film Family Plot was the last to be directed by a celebrated British-born filmmaker. Who was he? Pass. The energy radiated by the sun comes from the conversion of which element into helium? Pass. Which Prime Minister left school with few qualifications and was once turned down for a job as a bus conductor? Callahan. Major. The works of which British sculptor include the giant male nude statue Spirit of Liverpool Resurgent unveiled over the entrance to a department store in the city in 1956? Henry Moore. Epstein. What calendar event does the Jewish festival of Rosh Hashanah celebrate? New Year. Yep. What is the title of the song that gave David Bowie and Queen a number one hit together in 1981? Pass. In which athletics event did Mary Peters win a gold medal at the Munich Olympics in 1972? Heptathlon. No, pentathlon. Which Dutch city was the scene of an unsuccessful attempt by British and Polish airborne troops to secure the Rhine bridges in September 1944? Arnhem. Yes, which Irish author's most famous novel, Dracula, was first published in 1897? Bram Stoker. Yes, in what television series did Derek Jacobi and Ian McKellen play a gay couple who've been together for nearly 50 years and now spend their time entertaining guests and hurling insults at each other? Pass. 
Shostakovich's Seventh Symphony was inspired by the siege of a city whose name is used as the subtitle of the work. Which city? Leningrad. Yes. In 1774, the astronomer Neville Maskelyne used the conical-shaped Scottish mountain Shiel Halion in a famous experiment to measure the mass of what? The sun. The earth. The Pardell lynx, regarded as one of the world's most endangered members of the cat family, is chiefly found in Andalusia's national parks. What is its more common name? Pass. What shabby garment is the trademark of the television detective Lieutenant Colombo? He's Mac. Yes, his raincoat. Which Belgian city's cathedral houses Jan van Eyck's masterpiece, a 12 panelled altarpiece named Adoration of the Mystic Lamb? Bruges. Ghent. What rank in the RAF is the equivalent of the British Army rank of Major? Group Captain. Squadron Leader. Uh, you have five passes, Terry. The Iberian Lynx is what the Pardell Lynx is uh, otherwise known as. Vicious is the name of that series in which Derek Jacobi and Ian McKellen are so rude to each other. Under Pressure is the title of the song that gave Bowie and Queen a number one hit. The energy radiated by the sun comes from the conversion of hydrogen into helium. And Family Plot was the last to be directed by Alfred Hitchcock. You have scored, Terry, a total of 22 points. So, at the end of that round, the end of the contest, let's have a look at the scores. In fourth place with 20 points, David Cheshire. Third place, 22 points, Terry Kwai. Second place, 24 points, Tracy Whitehead. First place with 26 points, Kyan Agendra. <laughs> Which means, of course, that Kyle is tonight's winner and he goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to him. And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.